mousetrap powered car. Okay, we got this from Pound World. A two pack metal mousetrap. I was wondering what metal it's made out of. Because it'd be quite handy if I can actually solder on this metal. I do believe that's successful. We're in the kitchen because this is the only place I can plug this soldering iron in because it's a bit more powerful than my usual one. Right, and the back axle I'm actually going to solder underneath the frame so that we can pull the line up in that gap. That's plumber's flux I've got there. That should help the solder to flow. get one on then we should be able to align the other one. Right, let's go and put some wheels on it. I seem to have done this section so many times in the past, making wheels from CDs. I use bottle tops, any size will do. Hot glue it to the centre, one on each side, then push the axle through. You can use other glues. I use hot glue because it's quick and easy. Do you ever get the feeling that sometimes a project just doesn't want to work for you? I wanted to solder a little hook onto that back axle. But it now turns out these wire skewers that I've used are stainless steel and I can't solder onto stainless steel. So I've wrapped a little bit of wire around there, poured super glue over it and hit it with the uh, kicker. So hopefully I've got just a little hook on there that I can tie a bit of string onto or hook a bit of string onto and maybe it'll work. I'm going to use some kite string. I'll put a loop on that end so it should just hook onto that loop that I put on the back axle so we can wind it up, so that should be okay. The 
and we need it to be just the length so that when the trap has set, set, released, whichever way you want to look at it, when it's back down there, we need that line to actually pull off the axle so it needs to be just a tiny bit short. I've wound it up, so if I just try and hold it there, yeah, let's try and do it in the kitchen. Wind it up. Trigger in place. Okay. Get ready to chase it. Yeah, a bit of a left spin there. I think that's wheel spin. I'm going to put some rubber on the wheels. Summary time. This has been a really annoying project. Every little idea I had, I've had a different idea afterwards. So I've soldered brass tubes on for the axle tubes, but I think I could have just drilled holes in the sides of the metal frame and got the same result. I've used wire skewers which when I try to solder onto them to solder a little hook on to hook the string on I found they were stainless steel skewers so I couldn't actually solder to them I've broken one of my CDs when it's crashed into the wall but I've just taped that back together it was shooting off to one side which was wheel spin so I've cured that by adding strips of rubber, well they're actually cut from rubber gloves to give me the extra grip and it is now working and it's going the length of my kitchen quite easily which is well the kitchen's five meters and then the conservatory out there is another three meters well that's gone all out of focus but never mind yeah so it's doing eight meters quite easily Nobody's asked me to do this, it's simply because I saw these metal mouse traps in Pound World and thought I'd have a go. I might do another one, just drilling the holes in there to see if that works. But I won't use those metal skewers as axles because that's making hard work of it. I might just as well have stuck to ordinary uh, barbecue skewers. <laughs>